But you see, through the power of the Holy Spirit that has been invested in our lives, we have the miracle work and power resident with us. And God uh, has turned this thing over to us, uh, but I'm glad he didn't leave us alone. You see, all the host of heaven backs up the word of God, and therefore we're not alone. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. I want you to hear this. You, you, you tune in and you listen very carefully on the next few words I'm going to say here. They were crossing the Red Sea. The Bible says that God caused an east wind to blow. There's a wind blowing. And that east wind was blowing, I don't know if it was blowing strong enough to part the sea, but it was at least blowing strong enough that it was drying the ground. And as the wind began to blow, an east wind was blowing. Do you know what direction they were headed? They were walking east. This strong wind was blowing them right in the face. Now, you're listening to me today, and some of you are saying, I don't know what in the world I'm going to do because it's like, it's like the circumstances is about to blow me down. That's a wind of deliverance. That's the Holy Spirit wind that is blowing, that is going to not only bring deliverance, but it is going to bring a miracle in your life. Now, can you imagine what would have happened if, if the children of Israel were like us today? We would have been out there. You know what we'd have said? We rebuke that wind in the name of Jesus. Wind cease to blow. And you know what would have happened? Well, I tell you what happened to the, Is uh, to the Egyptians when the wind quit blowing. The Bible says that the sea come back together, and they were drowned. Not only was they walking eastward, facing an east wind, but if you'll study it carefully, you'll find out they crossed at night. Boy, I mean, that's something that God not only wants to blow you down, but he's caused uh, uh, it's darkness when you're trying to cross. You know what the situation is? They're going to have to totally trust God. Now, right where you're at today, you're going to have to totally trust God. And that which is coming, it's not coming to destroy you, but it's a wind of deliverance. Now, right where you're at, you begin to receive. Don't resist. So you, we start resisting what God's doing, and before you know it, we, uh, we, we've got a turmoil blowing against our life. That there is no way out. But you just go ahead and allow the Holy Spirit to, to minister to you. Allow that wind of deliverance to keep blowing. Right now, I know there's people listening to me that, that you're needing deliverance. You're listening to me. You're bound by drugs. You're bound by alcohol. You're, you're in a situation that your marriage is breaking up and you don't know what to do. It's time to put it in the hands of God. Give it to Him. Give it to Him. I want you to call one of these counselors. Call one of them and, and say, I want you to agree with me. I know that this is God working in my life. He's bringing deliverance to my life, and I need the peace of God. You see, it's the peace of God that rules in these situations. Jesus stood up in the boat. He said, peace, be still. And that's the peace that you need in your life right now. Quit resisting what God is delivering you. He's delivering you out of dilemmas and out of situations. Don't resist that, but allow God to do that work with you. Well, amen. Praise the Lord, brother. Amen.